All right, as you watch this video, hopefully you have your note sheet, the Cosmos Exploration document. You should have that next to you printed out um, so that you can fill it in. Remember, I am going to be collecting, I'm going to be asking you to turn this in. And so make sure you are uh, using these videos to help fill it in. Okay, at any time, you can always pause it and try it on your own, and then you can kind of see the explanation afterward, okay? So let's get started here. Oops, no. Hopefully you should have watched the video already. All right, so here we go. Now, the speed of light is approximately 300 million meters per second. So uh, you can go ahead and fill that in. That's 300 million. That's the first blank in the worksheet. Now, what we're going to do is, you know, even though most people just say 300 million, what we're going to do is we're going to write it out in two forms. What is this number in standard and scientific notation? And so you should be doing that on your worksheet. So pause and do that. Now, hopefully you've uh, done it. So 300 million looks like this. That's standard form. And just remember that when you write it in scientific notation, you know, the decimals right here, we have to start here. So it should be 3 times 10 to the... Just count how many place values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ooh, I almost messed up here. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, okay? So that's a lot of meters it travels per second. So obviously, the amount of distance that light covers in one second is enormous. Now, if you're, uh, if you watch the video, it talked about light years. Now, light years is the number of, you know, how far travel, how far light travels over a year. And that is ridiculous, man. And so we're going to figure out how far does it, how many meters does it actually travel in one year. So um, we're going to take this piece by piece. So if you look at your chart, you know, we're going to first figure out how far does it travel in one minute. And so what we're going to do is this. Let's take our uh, speed of light. So remember we said the speed of light was, I'll use uh, light blue. We said it was th three, whoa. Oops. It was three times 10 to the eighth, right? Meters per second. Now meters per second means every second it goes that many meters. So if we want to think about how it, we're gonna figure out how much it travels in one minute. We gotta think, well, how many seconds are there in a minute? And you should know that's 60. So if each second it goes this much, and we have 60 of those seconds, you should realize we're simply gonna be multiplying. So it should be three times 10 to the eighth times 60. And when you do that, don't forget the three, we can multiply the three times 60, right? And that is going to be equal 180. And then times, now 10 to the 8th is just still remaining there. So it would be 180 times 10 to the 8th, but that is not in scientific notation. Okay? So if you remember, if 180 right now, the decimal's right there, and I like to, I like to think of it as, oh, it's just going to go to the right 8, right? Well, it should have started here. It should have been 1.8 and times 10 to the... I think of it like instead of going 8 over, it would have had to travel 2 back, which means that instead of 8 spaces, it now has to go 10 spaces. So it would be 1.8 times 10 to the 10th. And so that's meters. Okay, so that's how many meters it goes in one minute. That is over... 1 billion meters. So that should be your final answer in scientific notation. Now, how far does it travel in one hour? Well, let's take that number we just figured out. 1.8 times 10 to the 10. That's meters per, it's not second, because we figured out now how many meters per minute, right? What are we gonna do with this in order to figure out how many how far it goes in one hour. Now remember, if this is this many meters every minute, how many minutes are an hour? It would be 60, right? So we would be 
would be times 60 divided by 60. Remember, if it's every minute it goes that much and we have 60 of those, that means it's 60 groups of those. That means it's going to be multiplication. So it'd be 1.8 times 10 to the 10th times 60. And this is where we can multiply 1.8 and 60. Now 1.8 times 60, you know, if you do your little multiplication here, 1 over, so 1080, it'd be 108. 108 times 10 to the 10th. Now, because we can't leave this like this because it's not in scientific notation, once again, um, let's use green. The decimals right here, it really should have started here. So if it goes 10 over from here, that means it had to travel two more back in order to travel 12 place values. So it's gonna be 1.08 times 10 to the 12th meters. So that's how far it travels in one hour. Now, how about a one day? Well, we're going to use the, our number we had here, 1.08 times 10 to the 12th. That's meters. Now it's per hour. Now we want to know day. So that means how many hours are in a day? There are 24. So we would be taking this number, 1.08 times 10 to the 12th, and multiplying it by, you guessed it, 24. To figure out how many meters does it travel in a day. You're like, oh man, this calculation is getting bigger and bigger. You're right, 1.08 times 24. Hopefully you remember how to do this. It's okay if you're not as fast. Even better if you're faster. So this would be 25.92 times 10 to the 12th. Now... We're almost there. It should have started right here. Should have been 2.592, and there's a one place value difference. It should be 10 to the, well, because it went over 12 this way, if it moves back one more, that means it's got to travel 13, so it should be 10 to the 13th. All right, now this is meters in a day. Well, we're almost there. How about in a year? So, um, hold on, what was that number again? I kind of forgot. 2.592. All right. 2.592 times 10 to the 13th. That's meters per day. Now, next question is, how many days are in a year? And that's, we'll use 365. And I already know what you're thinking. You're like, dude, man, I do not want to multiply this. And you know what? I don't want to either. Now, this is what I'll say. You know, eventually we are going to start using calculators. And so um, it's for this part where you have to do some multiplying with these really large numbers. Yeah, I could have you practice these really ugly numbers. Um, I think for this one, I will definitely use my little calculator I have here. So 2.592 times 365. And that equals 946.08 times 10 to the 13th. Remember, I just multiply these numbers here that I can multiply. And so 946.08 times 10 to the 13th. Now, that is not in correct scientific notation. It should have started here. 9.4608 times 10 to the... Now, if you kind of get a trend here... The numbers keep moving back, so if it's 13 over this way, that means it's got to move back. That's going to be a total of 15 spaces. So here is our answer, meters per year. Um, that is more than trillion. I'm, I always forget what's after trillion. Is it gazillion, or is that something that people made up? I don't remember. But that is our final answer for this question here. So when it says therefore, 
the, the distance light travels over a year, or in other words, light year is approximately. Now, instead of using this large number, we're going to narrow it down a little bit. We're just going to say 9.46 times 10 to the 15th meters. So even though it says light year and it's a, it seems like a unit of time, light year is actually a measure of distance than how far light travels in a year. So, wow, that is crazy, okay? Now, video two will tackle the next page of the notes, okay?